The newly installed curbs along Mullis Trail continue keeping residents locked out of their driveways. That was only a portion of what homeowners brought to the attention of La Follette City Council last night at the council's regular monthly meeting for November. Four homeowners were in attendance with each expressing their challenges the project presents. Months ago, an apartment building was constructed on Mullis Trail, which, before the apartments, was a dead-end street in the Bellmead subdivision. Now, for more than two weeks, six homeowners have new curbs that are too high to allow them to pull into their driveways or even drive onto their lawns. That means toting infants, groceries, and anything else they want in their homes from the street to the house through cold, rain, or whatever weather is bringing at the time. Councilman Hansford Hatmaker explained that it's an ongoing construction project and asked that the city be given time to finish it. Public Works Director Jim Mullins told the homeowners that he and his crew will address each individual driveway. Mullins offered several remedies short-term as well as permanent to take care of the curb issues. It was also pointed out that speeding is another problem on Mullis Trail as well as on Janeway. That prompted council to vote to reduce the speed limit subdivision-wide from 30 miles per hour down to 20 miles per hour. Police Chief Jimmy Jeffries told the audience that his department would enforce the new speed limit. All but about five minutes of the meeting, which lasted almost an hour, were devoted to the Mullis Trail concerns. Council voted 3-0 on every item on the agenda, which included approving three contracts for La Follette utility projects, as well as two ordinances for bonds of nearly $2 million for La Follette Utilities Board. Chief Jeffries was given the okay to hire uncertified officers and have certification paid for by the city with a two-year contract signed between the city and the officer. East La Follette's ballpark is now Frank Archer Park while the park's press box is named in honor of Jimmy Arnold and Mark Hoskins. The rash of church and home burglaries has been solved. Sheriff Robbie Goins tells WLAF that two juveniles and one adult are off the streets after being picked up for the crimes. Sheriff goes on to say about the burglaries. I love it. It was a kind of unique situation on some of them, uh, uh, mostly vandalism, and uh, we uh, worked a lot of man hours. We put a lot of people out there, and we we uh, trying our best to catch these people in the act. And then we ha when then we have some residential break-ins that come along, uh, and just still you know wanting to know who's doing this, trying to get some leads. Uh, then we get Glade Springs Church broken into again, you know, and we're, we're still we're still up against it. And but I have to say I'm blessed with some good investigators, along with some help with uh, from Anderson County Sheriff's Department. Uh, I think that I've always said that's what makes us successful: our working relationship with other departments and the people in our community. And uh, we got a break, and I'm happy to say we've got uh, not happy to say. But I'm glad that it's 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 uh, come to a conclusion. Uh, we've got a uh, two juveniles that we've uh, got juvenile petitions on for these uh, thefts and break-ins, and we've got one adult, uh, Walter uh, John Meacham, who's currently in custody in Anderson County on some other uh, charges not related to us. It's election day. If you haven't cast your vote yet. You have until 8 o'clock tonight. On your ballot, you will be electing a president, 
U.S. Senator, Congressman, State Senator, State Representative, and you will also be deciding if you want an increase in Campbell County's portion of the local sales tax. If the sales tax increase passes that point, 2 or 5 percent will go toward improvement and maintenance of the county's roads. If you vote in La Follette, you'll also be electing mayor and two council members. If Caraval is your voting place, electing a mayor and three aldermen is also a part of your ballot. WLAF's coverage begins tonight at 7.30. Upwards of 2,000 people rallied Sunday afternoon at Dossett Stadium at the high school. The event, Stand in the Gap, drew young and old alike as Campbell Countyans united to pray for God to heal our land from the scourge of drug and alcohol abuse. Aside from Campbell County, another nine communities around the region also came together for Stand in the Gap. Mark Parton, pastor of the Indiana Avenue Baptist Church, tells us about the event. Hi, this is Mark Parton. I'm just coming to give you an update on what took place yesterday at the Stand in the Gap uh, that we had at Campbell County High School. There was 10 counties finally that came in and came on board with the Stand in the Gap and they met at uh, seven different locations throughout East Tennessee and in Bell County, Kentucky yesterday at 3 o'clock. In Campbell County we had a good turnout the parking lot at Campbell County High School was full on both sides. There was no empty spaces. And the rough estimate that I was given, I did not count, but the rough estimate I was given was 1,750 to 2,000 people showed up to come stand to pray to seek the face of God. We had eight led prayers that were guided by mainly pastors, a couple of youth pastors shared. Billy Sanders shared, prayed for the addicted. And as we prayed these prayers, we had three or four congregational songs that were sung and then we dismissed the congregation, the group, to go around the, the stadium, around the track, and we had 20 different prayer points set up. And as people walked quietly and reverently, they walked around the track praying for the prayer points. Now, as I stood there and I watched hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of people walking, I'd never seen such silence in that stadium before. And I saw them walking and I was standing with Bill Saunders and it, it was he was weeping and it was moving me to tears watching the people go before and pray. And we were praying for God's mercy and grace. We were praying for deep conviction of sin to, to come upon the churches, the nation, our world. We were we were praying for, for for our churches to wake up, to raise up. And so all around the track people walked. And at the end of the walk, when they came to the end of the track, we gathered at the end of the end zone. We prayed unto the Father, seeking Him, thanking Him for this day. But let me encourage you, this is not the end. It really takes not much effort to show up for an hour or two. What we need is for people to show up regularly. Every Tuesday night, we meet at West LaFollette School to pray. And as we meet together to pray, we simply seek the face of God. Tonight, or this Tuesday, we'll be meeting at the... La Follette Middle School, Old Auditorium due to the election, but I hope you'll come be with us for prayer. We're seeking for God to move in our community. We're seeking for God to move in our country and God to move upon our land because apart from Him, we have no hope. But come together, unite to pray with us. Thank you for your time. And that's a look at our news for this Tuesday. Stay tuned now for the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department coming up next. And it's time now to take a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. Twelve people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Dalton David Chaz Bussell, age 18 of Speedwell, for driving while revoked, violation of the registration law, and violation of the Tennessee financial law. 34-year-old Shauna M. Evans, of Apple Tree Lane in Egan for theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999. Glenda Alien Garnier, 21, of Victory Road, La Follette, for assault. Katie Lynn Hamblin, 
31 of Primroy Road in Clarefield for stolen weapon. 38-year-old Aletha Deanna Maddy of West Hemlock Street, La Follette, entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. LaDonna Chantel McIntosh, 22, of Lake City, on an attachment for child support. 19-year-old Leanna Marie Reed of Shannon's Road in Jacksboro for theft under $500. Kenneth Warren Tate, 26, of Jackson Road, Carable, for domestic assault. 41-year-old James Lee Taylor of Countryside Circle in Jacksboro for aggravated assault. Clyde Dwayne Turner, 44, of Jackson Road, Carable, for assault by domestic violence. 44-year-old Emily Ann Turner of East 1st Street, La Follette, for domestic assault. And last today, Roberta Ann White, 34, of Spruce Lane in Caraville, on two counts of a capious bench warrant and an attachment for child support. And that's a look at the news for today. Stay with us. We'll be here tonight until the final votes come in, so join us. Our full election coverage begins tonight at 7.30, so we'll see you then. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. This is your birthday song. Oh, oh, oh. Celebration all night long. Oh, oh, oh. May all you Hey, Big Josh with you on this election day, and we're going to talk about birthdays and anniversaries, and let's look at our birthdays for today, brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Uh, today, Pearl Marlowe's having a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Pearl, and James Robbins, 76 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Robbins, and Melinda Burge is 31 years old today. Happy birthday, Melinda. J.C. Williams celebrating today. Happy birthday to you, J.C. And Darlene McGee is having a birthday today. Happy birthday to Darlene. Now, we have a couple belated birthdays. Blake Williams had a birthday on Sunday. Happy belated birthday to you, Blake. And Autumn Grace Ford turned two years old yesterday. Happy birthday to you, Autumn Grace. And our anniversaries, we're not showing any anniversaries for today. However, we do have one. From Saturday, Gary and Win Wendy Rain celebrated number 17. Happy anniversary to you, Gary and Wendy. We hope you had a great day. And if you're celebrating your anniversary today or birthday, we want you to have a great day too. But remember, we have to have your name on our list in order for you to qualify for the drawing on Friday. And you could win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza. So make sure you get your name in, will you? Hey, we're going to do this again tomorrow evening, good Lord willing, at about this same time. So have a great evening. Will you do that? Good night and God bless.